Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again. In the today video lecture, we are going to discuss the synthesis of methoxyacetal sodium. It's a salt. Main constituent is the methoxyacetal. It's always present in the form of the sodium salt. Okay. So what is the methoxyacetal? Methoxyacetal sodium is an ultra short acting barbiturate. Ultra short acting barbiturate what is the meaning of the ultra short acting ultra short acting means when the duration of action of the drug is less than 3 hour means its duration of action is less than 3 hour and it's the total onset of action within 15 minutes okay Methoxyacetal sodium is mainly given IV. It's a preferred drug for the IV injection, IV administration. Okay. Now let's discuss the synthesis of the methoxyacetal sodium. Methoxyacetal sodium is started from the synthesis with diethyl malonate. Malonate, malonic acid, diethyl ester derivative. Okay, so what is the diethyl malonic? Here CH2, let's have the C, double bond O, O, and here it's have C, double bond O, O, C2H5. This is diethyl malonate. Now, this diethyl malonate, when reacted with the 3 bromopropene, Propene, remember CH, CH2, here, CH2, and X have the bromine group. This is the 3 bromopropene diethyl malonate. And this is bromo propene when it reacted then what happened this bromine and the hydrogen of this CH2 will be removed out in the form of HBr and this propene group attached on this carbon so next what happened CH2 C O O C two S five here C O O C two H five here only one hydrogen will be here H and this propene will attach here CH two CH double bond CH2 this new intermediate form here now this intermediate reacted with the 2 bromo hexane 2 bromo hexane that is CS3 CH2 C CH2 CS3, here it is have the bromine. 1, 2, 3. So this is 2 bromo 3 hexane. 2 bromo 3 hexane. Now what happened? By the reaction with this compound, this bromine will take this hydrogen and remove it out in the form of H. B R. Now this C S two will attach with this carbon. So nextly, what happened? C H 
C2H5 O C2H5 here it's already CH2 CH double bond CH2 here it's become CH2 C triple bond C CH2 CS3 this CS3 on this here so it's new intermediate form here now nextly what happened this sodium hydroxide and this intermediate reacted with the n methyl urea n methyl urea n h c o n h2 and x have the cs3 n methyl urea this is the n methyl urea by this reaction the new cyclic product form here firstly c it has the ch2 ch3 c triple bond c ch2 ch3 and here it have ch2 ch double bond ch2 and now this this has the ketone group here n o it's single not double bond o because here is the sodium because it's so, methyl acetal sodium n a n a o and here we have the methyl group cs3 so this is the methoxyacetal methoxyacetal sodium so what happened in the synthesis of methoxyacetal diethyl malonate reacted with the 3 bromopropane in the presence of sodium ethoxide that is c2h5ona in the presence of sodium ethoxide then what happened the hbr this bromine and this hydrogen remove and this intermediate form now this intermediate when reacted with the 2 bromo 3 hexane this reaction also carried out in the presence of sodium phenoxide that is c2h5ona sodium ethoxide then this intermediate form this intermediate when reacted with the n methyl urea then cyclization carried out and after the cyclization methoxyacetal sodium form here this is very easy just three step reaction you have to remember the starting diethyl malonate thank you